This movie is just to show you how to print an individual slide if you want to add a print button in Captivate. If uh, you're using a previous version of Captivate, you'll probably have a bunch of controls on the left side of the screen. I'm using Captivate 8, which means most of my controls are by default along the top. Either way, you can add an interactive object, whether you want to add a click box or a button, do whatever you want. I'll just add a button. Make that a little bit bigger. We'll uh, tell people what it's going to do when they click on it. There we go. Big old print button. You can make this pretty. You could use a click box and then slap it over the top of a nice pretty graphic, whatever you want to do. Select that print box and then go over to Actions. Again, if you're using a previous version of Captivate Actions, you'll just scroll down to get to your Actions area in the Properties panel. On Success, you want to execute JavaScript and then click on this Script Window button. And then here you're going to type something super simple. Window dot print couple of parentheses, nothing inside those parentheses, and then a semicolon, and then click OK. And that's it. I'll get rid of the timeline there. And now let's test it to make sure it's working. I'll go to Preview. In order to see JavaScript execute, you need to preview in a browser. So there we go. We can see it. Uh, if I click the Print button, you'll see the Print dialog box come down. And now from here, you'll still need to educate your user as far as how to use their print dialog box to make it all fit onto a page. And of course, that depends on the printer they're using and the type of computer that they've got. But the bottom line is now they'll be able to print that slide without any extra widgets or any other activity.